Hello everyone, welcome to another Keys Online video. My name is Nuno Louro and after a long absence we are back to do reviews and today we're going to review the Nord Stage 4. Since 2005 that the Nord Stage series has been the combination of all the keyboards that Nord does. It's like you have a Nord piano, then a Nord electro, and then you have a Nord wave or a Nord lead all combined in one keyboard. We've had this since 2005, as I said, and we have the EX versions, the expanded versions uh, for the early, the first one, the first Nord Stage. Then the, for the second one, we also had the EX version, but on the Nord Stage 3, we have passed directly to the Nord Stage 4. Why? Because in this case, this is a big evolution um, against the Nord Stage 3. Many things have changed, uh, mostly in the way of how you interact with the keyboard. So this earns the right to being the Nord Stage 4 instead of the Nord Stage 3 EX. Talking about the features, we have a new triple sensor keyboard for the 88 and 73 hammer action versions of the Nord Stage 4, and then we have the Nord Stage 4 Compact with a 73 uh, waterfall keyboard. Then we have the three sections we are used to, we have the organ section, the piano section and the synth section. Starting with the piano section, we can have two layers, two sounds and we have 120 voices of polyphony and we can load a maximum of two gigabytes of samples into the piano section. Going to the organ section, we have the six models we are used to. We had the B3 and the B3 bass, we have the Vox and the Farfisa and we have two pipe organs which were mated to a new reverb, a new cathedral reverb that was added and that worked very well. We also have drawbars for all the models instead of only the compact one. Talking about the synth section, we have the sound engine of the Nord Wave 2, which means we can have four types of synthesis. We have virtual analog, we have FM synth, we have digital waves, and we also have the samples from the Nord sample library. We have a maximum polyphony of 48 voices, and we can have one gigabyte of uh, sounds loaded up from the Nord sample library. We also have arpeggio uh, modes which are the pattern, the poly and the gate which is new. Talking about the effects section, we now have the effects per layer except for the organ section which is for the whole. Uh, we now have reverb with the new cathedral reverb I told you about, delay, two modulation effects, compressor, amp simulation and EQ. Uh, per layer, which is a big improvement. We also have a piano style pedal board with three pedals, which can help us with the expression on our pianos. 
and with the controlling of the whole keyboard uh, when you're playing live. Talking about the weight, we have 10 kilos for the North Stage 4 Compact, 16 kilos for the North Stage 73, and 19 kilos for the North Stage 4 88. In terms of real-time use, uh, we have a big difference in between this North Stage 4 and the North Stage 3. For me, uh, I'm not a Nord user, so uh, it was a lot easier to not have those panel A and panel B situations that we have on the North Stage 3. Here you can see all the layers that the sounds have. If I have like a, a sound here, I can see that I have a, a layer A, layer B, and I can see everything in this sound that I'm using. So I can uh, switch on and off. I can see the volumes that they're using. I can turn them on both together, turn them off, whatever I want to do. So it's a lot easier and uh, it's uh, for someone who is not a Nord user it, it's really easier to interact with the keyboard as you want to make the changes of your sounds. One of the big improvements that we have in this Nord Stage 4 is the layer scene situation that uh, can help you when you have like a song that you want to play and you have two different parts in the song and you need to turn on and turn off sounds. So. Uh, you can always do it directly if you are playing like with this white ran sound. I have it here and I can just switch on like a pad. And... But if you want to do a more complex thing, it's kind of hard to turn uh, three or four sounds at the same time. So that's why we have the layer scene here. So I have this piano sound and I can switch to the chorus. And in the chorus, I need a electric piano with pads or something like that. And I just can press layer scene here and it's I also have a lead here on the split point so it's a lot easier to have everything uh, ready to play uh, with just the press of this layer scene button so here we go back to the piano talking about the piano section we also have like these two new functions. One is the unison that replaces the detune version of the North Stage 3. If you remember the North Stage 3, we had like to have two pianos in the panel A and panel B, then combine them, and then you'd go to detune and it would like give more character to the sound. So uh, in this case on the North Stage 4, you can do it with just one layer. So I have this piano sound here, only this piano sound is turned on and I can go to listen to it without the unison. And I can just like switch on to the number three and you can see. It's like a small detune, so we added the character to the piano. So we also have this dynamic comp uh, function, which is something like a, 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 it's like a compressor, but it's not really uh, as uh, strong as a compressor would do. So it's uh, really, when you play like really softly, I will give you an example. So I've played with dynamic comp with one and I'll try to play with the same velocity in this case, really lightly. So something like this. And if I put it in the third, The sound got a bit louder and, and this is uh, the reason why this is here is to level your playing so it's a very useful function although I must say I don't use these type of functions in my piano playing I prefer to do it the 
uh, real way. In terms of the pianos, uh, in terms of the piano playing, we also have a big improvement in terms of keyboard. The keyboard is a lot nicer than the Nord Stage 3. It's a lot less noisier as well, so we don't have that man many key noise that we have on the other. And I think it, it's really, it, it feels better built. We have better dynamic range as well. And uh, some of my uh, colleagues that are Nord users tell me that they really like this white grand sound. So I, I thought I'd play with it so you can hear uh, these differences on the keyboard. Switching to the organ section, here is uh, where we have a big improvement because now we have drawbars in all the models, uh, not only the North Stage Compact. So we have drawbars for all the models and it's where I have my biggest complaint in terms of the sound of this North Stage 4. The sounds, the organ sounds work really well I think, but when you're playing like with a rock band, I wish the sound was thicker. I always have these three door bars and just try, try pushing them down so that I can have more sound and a thicker sound. And I think the overdrive effects doesn't help. So you, if you play something like this, the sound gets louder, but it doesn't really get thicker. And I, as I have the Hammond XK5, as you can see in the background, um, it's like a big reference in terms of uh, organ sounds and I really don't think this matches to the XK5. It's, it's, it's normal, it doesn't match, but I wish it did because uh, it's in 90% of the situations it will sound very good and it will do the job that it's needed to do. But uh, there's that extra mile that I would uh, really uh, would wish that was there uh, for the organ sounds. And sometimes when you let play with something like a rock band or something like that, sometimes you need thicker sounds and uh, more aggressive sounds. And I don't think this is the case uh, in here with the Nord Stage 4. It sounds really well, but I wish it would be a bit thicker. Passing on to the synth section, here is where I think we have the biggest improvements in terms of sound of the North Stage 4, because now we have presets. And these presets are really ready for you to play. Just can, you can make some small changes if you want to, but most of them work really well. So that helps us a lot. And it helps us to save time when you're programming uh, for a concert or whatever. So uh, in this case, you can go here to preset library, go to synth, and here you can see uh, the sounds and it will turn on and off the layers. In this case, this sound has two layers. This one has three layers. These are a really um, uh, well-programmed sounds. And in this case, you can take benefit of it. And I think that's a big difference uh, when you compare it to the Nord Stage 3, because in Nord Stage 3, I had the feeling that when I wanted the sound, I had to do it all from scratch. In this case, you also can have uh, a single layer. So you can see here a uh, single layer. So you can, I'm just looking for sounds for this layer here, but it's really easy to do things and you can, can have the same thing in the piano section. So with this sound, I will show you the different things that we have here. I can just do a, like a solo here and I'll just try it with this one. I'll start with this one. This is the first layer and then we have like a kick drum which is programmed after a white noise. So here you can see that I have on my ARP connected with the master click and everything. So here, for instance, if I switch to layer B and I play, I have a different sound. In, in this case, it's arpeggiator, it's an arpeggiator with poly uh, arpeggiator. And on the third one, I have some hi-hats, 
with uh, different arpeggiator settings. If you look here, you can see that when you switch the sound, the effects are completely different. The effects are, that are turned on are completely different. And this is a big improvement as well because uh, uh, you can uh, sound design how, whatever you want because it gives you a lot of possibilities. So I can uh, show you this sound on the whole. I have to turn on and uh, turn off the solo and play with the piano here. So it's something like this. I would also like to mention that I have used this keyboard in live concert situations. I had to program it for some gigs and it was really easy to program. Everything went really well. The keyboard sounded well when playing live. So I was really satisfied with the overall using experience. My first con with the North Stage 4 is the matter of the price. We have a very popular keyboard, very hyped keyboard, uh, but the price increase was really steep. We went from 3500 euros for the 88 version to 4600 euros for the this 88 version of the North Stage 4, which is a lot. I have spoken to some colleagues of mine that are Nord users and they also say the same. They think the price is too high. Uh, for you to have an idea, a comparable keyboard, it's not the same because the Nord Stage is a very complete keyboard uh, comparing to the YC88 from Yamaha. But this YC88 costs like to the 2,600 euros, which is a big difference in terms of uh, money. And we also have a better key bed for the YC. So it's a matter of uh, the value which you think the keyboard has for you. And then when you pay 4,600 euros for a keyboard, you start wondering about things that are missing and that should be there. For me, uh, it's important to have an audio in with full on jacks, uh, stereo audio in. And I also think we should have a microphone input for uh, to, to take benefit of all the good things we have in the Nord Wave 2 engine. We could have like vocoders, stuff like that. And in this case, without the microphone input, we can't have that. Also, with the audio in, you could like mix another keyboard and send the whole mix through the outs of the Nord Stage 4, which is very handy in some situations. And although the Nord Stage 4 is king in terms of real-time control, because we have knobs and sliders to do everything, we have very small LCDs, which don't give us much in terms of information. And we could, at this price point, we could have bigger LCDs. I also don't know if these work too well in the sun. So I think the LCDs should, be, should have been improved. Also, another thing is that we always have to connect the keyboard to the computer if you want to change something. You want to load sounds, you have to connect them to the computer. You want to save the sounds, you have connected to the computer. If you want, for instance, to load an audio file to serve you as a backing track, you cannot connect a pen, a USB pen, and just play. Uh, it's not possible. So I think at this price point, these things should be possible.
My first pro about the Nord Stage 4 is the matter of the sound and modularity. You can load whatever you want in the keyboard. You always have a Nord that is uh, releasing some new samples and it's always been up to date. So it's very easy for you to have your keyboard as you want, as you need, instead of having a lot of sounds that you don't use or something like that. One thing that was really improved was the Nord sample library. This time, I think Nord uh, really uh, improved the presets of the keyboard. So uh, at now we can have like choose something and just make some minor changes and it's ready to go. When uh, with the Nord Stage 4, I think we had to like do it all from scratch, which is very, very uh, time consuming. So in this case, I think that aspect, the Nord Stample library uh, evolved a lot with this Nord Stage 4. I think I said this about the Nord Stage 3, but the real-time control is something that is really unique to Nord. And uh, in this case, it is improved because uh, now we have drawbars for all the models. We stopped having the panels, which for a non-Nord uh, user like me, uh, it makes the process very easy. And it's really easy for you to uh, program the sounds and do everything you want, changes in real time, everything it's really easy now. So I think this is one of the best keyboards in terms of real time control that you can have. And finally, to have the sound engine of the Nord Wave 2 with all the controls for a synth, with three layers, with effects per layer, it's like a big bonus. And I think it's one of the main features of this keyboard because this is a keyboard which is meant to do everything. It does everything well, but the synth part is really interesting. You can do very, very deep sound design with these possibilities that this synth section offers you. So this for me is the big improvement. The synth section is really better and I think it adds a lot of value to the Nord Stage 4. In terms of competition, I don't think that we have a real competitor to the Nord Stage 4. Uh, this is a real different keyboard meant for the stage and it has a lot of features that no other keyboard has. It combines a lot of things and the price is very different as well. So, but let's analyze. If we think about the workstations, we have like the Kurzweil and the Roland Phantom. Then we have like the Montage, which is a bit uh, like a synth workstation, more like a synth than a workstation. And with a new Montage M, it's going to be a super synth. Uh, but I think those are different machines with a different way of thinking and that are meant to do another things, a lot more sound design and less uh, indicated to the stage. For the stage, then we have from Yamaha, for instance, the YC88. Which, is, which I think is a good competitor. It has a better keypad and it gives you a more refined piano experience uh, in my way of seeing things. But uh, it's, uh, it lacks a lot of the features that the Nord Stage 4 has. So it's not re a real competitor because it's like 2000 euros less than the Nord Stage 4, which is a big difference. But I think there are a lot of features that the Nord Stage has uh, that make the difference. Uh, and I don't know if they justify the 2000 euros difference of pricing, but it really is a different keyboard, the Nord Stage 4. So I don't think there is really, really, really a competitor in the market for the Nord Stage 4. So my conclusion is very simple. If you're in the market for a keyboard to play live that can do everything and uh, it's not too heavy to carry around, then I think the Nord Stage 4 is a really, really compelling option. Why? Because it can do everything well. You can have, with a new keyboard, you have better uh, piano experience. We have good sounds. The presets are a lot better and everything improved in terms of this Nord Stage 4. The only caveat really is the price. I think the price is too high and 
it makes you think because if you think about this uh, you, with four forty six hundred euros you can buy like a stage piano and then a synth and you can have like different brands or you can have like a 2000 euro stage piano for some brand and then buy a Nordwave if you really like the Nord uh, sample library sounds and the Nordwave engine. So it can make you think if you need one keyboard or two keyboards, it's really up to you. I, for instance, don't mind carrying around two keyboards, but for many people, they only want to have one keyboard. And for those people, I think the Nord Stage is the ideal choice. Do you agree with my conclusion about the Nord Stage 4? I would really like to read your opinion in the comment section. For me, it's time to end the video here. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.